Clock Tower. Have you seen Batman Returns? Yeah, that was Bruce Wayne Enterprise, Bruce Wayne's headquarters right there. Has anyone seen the movie The Hunted with Steve McQueen? I'm sorry, one more time. Okay, great. You said it twice. Don't say it a third time. He'll materialize in the bus right now and privatize all the air we're breathing. Thousands of people that gather here every St. Patrick's Day chanting one word when they die the river green. 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 Wood Hotel there to the left. Julie Chin was the lead architect on that project. That is a great place to see a celebrity. Or right here on the bus, folks. Susan Sarandon sitting right here on the bus today with us. She's humble. She's not going to turn around. That's right. That's the original 1920s marquee on the Chicago here in 1903 in Illinois. The uh, Walgreens, actually, Walgreens just bought out this bus company. So starting tomorrow, we're going to have the automated self-checkout tour. Now, what that is, you pay us, you come on the bus, you give yourself the tour. Three here, Marshall Field and Company Building. People get out here, Theo. Marshall Field and Company there. It's the walnut room. You can still get the, it's still in there. You can still get the original chicken pot pie from 1880. Yeah, it's a little stale though. It's a little tough. It's a little dry. It's a little cool. It was so hot in Chicago today. I saw Charlie Sheen out of Michigan Avenue earlier on today. Charlie Sheen snorting ice chips to cool off. It was so hot in Chicago today. I heard a tree whistle for a dog. There's the Pritzker Pavilion over there. That's a Frank Gary Amphitheater. Now, um, Daniel Burnham did this building we just passed there. And building over here, Daniel Burnham. He uh, designed and left. He teamed up with Denkmar Adler to do the world's first nearly perfect acoustic theater. That angered people, because the people that whiz cheese in an aerosol can, that got its start right here in Chicago. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, the brown oh, oh, Twinkies? Twinkies started right here in Chicago? Yep. Diabetes started right here in Chicago? Now, Chicago's famous for deep dish pizzas and Chicago-style hot dogs. What I recommend is you take the Chicago-style hot dog and jam it, stuff it into the deep dish pizza, deep fry the whole number, and then have it a paramedic standing by with a defibrillator on hand. Clear. So, two gargle. Try saying the word gargle. Up. I get it. Makes you gargle a little bit. It's from the French. You can park in a driveway and drive in a parkway. Cargo goes by ship. Shipments go by car. The freeway is not free and the highway is not high. Folks, Shia LaBeouf from Transformers 3, right there. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's in the snack bar, bacon in the snack bar, and France is baking up on the wall. That's the original joke, folks. You can tell because it sucks. Uh, these are stuff for here. Uh, this is stuff for here. Hutchinson, just some people coming down the field. Chief benefactor in this project, he combed all over Europe looking for impressionist pa uh, spectators gathered. Tens of thousands of protesters gathered over here in Grant Park for the 1968 Democratic National Convention. Now they decided to move in on the Hilton Hotel where they're nomina nominating but one thing. The policeman is not here to create disorder, the policeman is here to preserve disorder. There the railway exchange building there, that has a scale model of downtown Illinois Central there. It used to run up all the way around the coast here and then ended at Navy Pier for shipping. And the railroad, all the different merchants like Marshall Field and Potter Palmer used to bribe the railroad conductors and the railroad managers to stop off here. Uh, when it was built, it was the biggest building in the world and the tallest in North America to let you know how standards have changed. But this is that theater I was talking about, the Chicago Fire. And less than 20 years later, we rebuilt. We were bigger and better than ever. And we were in competition with New York to host this Columbian Expo, this World's Fair. New York assumed they got it. They even spent $100,000 on advertising in 1893 money, and they didn't get it. So Charles Dana for the New York Sun, Bitter, comes out to Chicago just before the Expo. Stuff town. He used to have a big Polish population, uh, and Polish people were known for leaving skin goats on their porch to dry. And so male gunner, a long-standing tradition we have here in Chicago of walking around in circles and standing in line. Uh, sometimes we stand in circles, sometimes we walk in line. Sometimes we stand in line, we don't even know why. There's just a lot of people standing in line, so whatever's on the other side, it must be pretty good, let me tell you. Magdalena Avocado, which is Agora. Remember, folks, everyone, take a picture of that, because if you don't take Saturday, there's no tea sound. You're in Chicago now, it's Saturday. Let me check my calendar. I don't know if I can go to Raleigh in the alley on Saturday. I had a glass of wine and a seal it on Saturday. That's from Los Angeles. You say all kinds of ridiculous things like, I can do it stuff. Good, 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 good. Let's try that. I can do it stuff. I can do it stuff. Say good, say good. 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 Bears play. Almost timed that one out. Where did the Bears play? Now, that's Soldier Field, but a lot of people say Soldiers Field here in Chicago. There is no S at the end of Soldier Field, but people say Soldiers 
deal. Then people will pluralize grocery stores out here too. Like I'm going to Jules. You want to come with? Couldn't find parking at the Walmart. Hey, you want to go to Targets? And I guess because we have local chains like Dominic's that have an S at the end of it, so we just add S's to the end of everything else. And then Illinois, of course, we say Illinois, not Illinois. Degrees Fahrenheit, 25 Celsius. It's uh, 300 feet deep on average. Over 900 feet out by Green Bay, Wisconsin, where the Edmund Fitzgerald used to sail out of. Oh, you're from Michigan, right there. You know, like, if you don't know, Michigan is a state shaped like a glove. So, sir, where on the glove are you from? <laughs> where, on the, where on the glove are you from? You're from Michigan, are you? Take that building and drop it at the deepest point in Lake Michigan. It would still stick above the surface by a good 500 feet. Also, there's 500 feet of that building that's below ground. So one third of a, sky, a skyscraper's total height is below ground. Of course, the first skyscraper in the wild was right here in Chicago, the Home Insurance Building, 1885. And the, uh, the Red CNA building there to the left, when it was built in the 1970s, the city said it was too gaudy and garish for the Chicago skyline. Told them to change the color. At first, they refused. The city threatened to raise their property taxes, so they agreed. They signed some documents, some paperwork saying they would change the color. But in the in those paperwork, in those documents, it did not say which color they had to change it to. So they just changed it to a different, uh, even brighter, more obnoxious shade of red. So we roll here in Chicago. Over there to the left, that is Buckingham Fountain, dug by Edward Bennett, 1927. It is pumping 14,000 gallons of water a minute and it shoots 150 feet up into the air when it doesn't fact shoot up in the air. Also, there's a light show and classical music that plays here tonight, if you want to come see this. Uh, what else you got in town? So this is something to do at night, you know, come around the fountain here. Also, you got Buddy Guy's Club, you got State Street and Hubbard Street has a cool, uh, Howl at the Moon and Andy's Jazz Club and a whole bunch of cool places. Kingston Mines, probably the most respectable jazz outfit in Chicago, is uh, a little bit uh, a little bit north of here, or north of here. And, uh, but why go to any of those places when you got me right here? That's right. What's the difference between Chicago blues and New Orleans blues? About 380 miles, give or take. That's accurate, but that is the Smurf and Stone building. That is the most dangerous skyscraper in Chicago. Falling ice and snow injure half a dozen to a dozen people off of that building there. They were going to install solar panels, but they never got around to it, so it's just a giant avalanche machine. University of Chicago there, UIC. That's an annex, though. The main branch is over on the south side. Underneath the main branch, or the main UIC, is where they did the first nuclear... Seven here. I was an ugly kid. Every time I played in the sandbox, a cat tried to cover me up. I tell you, when I was born, the doctor walks in the waiting room. He told my mom and my dad. He said we did everything, did everything we could, but he pulled through anyways. A lot of kids have invisible friends. I had two invisible friends. Yeah, they played with each other. <laughs> so, for a hundred dollars in the morning, sell it for several thousand dollars the very same day that you bought it. So William Butler Ogden. Uh, he sent his brother-in-law out here to look at some real estate. His brother-in-law bought this piece of property without consulting William Butler Ogden first. With William Butler Ogden's money, furious, able to wrestle it away from him. It was everything from that street we just turned onto there to the Hancock, east of Michigan Avenue. At one point, it was all the free district of Lake Michigan, and even turned his his uh, boat still lodged on the sandbar that entire time into City Hall. He just built up on top of it, completely self for I with the one and the two and the bubble machine broadcasting. Yeah. Over here. All right, everyone get out of your cameras. We're all going to clap. Get to find somebody, get to find somebody. Yes. Is that, yeah? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, tips are always great. I appreciate it. You give me a tip or tip me right over the side of the bus. My God, just make it quick, whatever you do. Life below, right there, below. <laughs> Give it up. Tarzan, Tarzan. You remember what Tarzan said when he went to Oregon? He said, Me, Tarzan, Eugene. Oh, Tarzan. All right, so there's the uh, water tower there. That's one of the few government, one of the few municipal buildings to survive the Chicago fire of 1871. What caused the fire?
Baker Tower. Now, the water tower itself was done by W.W. W. Boeington in 1869. That's right, 1869. Do you like dates? Or do you prefer raisins? I couldn't even get a date if I was a fig tree, but that's more of a massive therapy building as a tour of Chicago. Anyways, that was W.W. W. Boeington, 1869, to the port of the Pritzkers. Chicago Avenue here is great. Uh, it goes all the way down to the train station there. You get a bunch of restaurants and bars. Also, One Street Back Superior is the same way. On the side of that trash can there, you'll see what did Skilling say. You want to see that? That advertisement there. It's in public service in my motto. He said, when I sell booze, they call it bootlegging. When my patrons serve it on silver trays along Lakeshore Drive, they call it hospitality. Here's Ancock Tower. This is the fourth tallest building in Chicago. It was done by the architect Bruce Graham and Fosler Kahn in 1969. Kind of important to remember that these two, the same architect and engineer, Bruce Graham and Fosler Kahn, did this building here in 1969. They did the Willis slash Sears Tower in 1973. And it showcases two architectural innovations to come out of Chicago. One, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe came up with a glass curtain, a solid wall of glass that lets... Uh, it is very nice right now. I'll go jump in. Because even after uh, 7 o'clock, the lifeguards won't be there. And later in the day is, of course, the best time. The, the radiant amount of sunshine that hits the lake will be at the optimum. It will be at the, the best point. So, And Transformers 3 is filming somewhere around town, too. There's Oak Street Beach. Got lots of uh, trees here in Chicago, too. we got oaks and elms, maples, sequoias, and uh, we even got a few Illinois face slappers. You're about to find out why. Get out. The dog says roof. He says, okay, what's sandpaper feel like? The dog says rough. Says, who is the greatest baseball player of all time? The dog says, Ruth. And the talent agent says, I'm sorry, it's just I don't have time. I don't have room for I sort of Ruth. I don't have time for a talking dog right now in the show. I'm so sorry. And they walk out of the office. They're walking down the street. The dog turns to the man and says, What? DiMaggio? <coughs> all right, this is River Norton over here. He was the mastermind of that whole thing. He was shot himself outside of, of a Milwaukee Avenue bowling alley, St. Valentine's Day, 1936. And there was a comic Valentine dropped on his body moments after he was shot. It read, you've lost your job, you've lost your dough, your jewels and fancy houses, but things could be worse, you know, you haven't lost your trousers. Now this Michael Anthony building here on the corner dates back to 1891 or 92. There was artist studio space during the 1893 Columbian Expo. Artists came from all over the world. They wanted to put down roots in the city, but it was kind of expensive to live here at that time.